Dear friends and intercessors, let's remember to continue to pray for one another and pray for your leader and please pray for me as well. Add me to your prayer list if you would. We are in great need of prayer covering, especially with my family. Thank you so much. To be free from the Emma Emmaus syndrome and return to revival, it's very important that we return to our Jerusalem, to the place of promise, the place of obedience, the place where we follow the instruct instructions given to us by Jesus Christ. In Luke chapter 24, 33, it says, when the disciples were back in Jerusalem, they found the 11 disciples and the others who had gathered with them, who said, the Lord has really risen. He appeared to Peter. We see that in this fellowship, their faith is strengthened. In this fellowship, back to Jerusalem with the disciples, those who were confused on the road to Damascus, to uh, Emmaus, now they came back and now they are in fellowship. So this is the call to action today. Return to your group ministry, those of you who are neglecting the prayers or the leadership. Return to your dreams, to your goals. Make a U-turn on that path to Emmaus and go back to the place of promise. Go from disorientation or confusion to the place of revival. Jerusalem represented a place where Jesus was going to, where Jesus resurrected and he was going to baptize his people in the day of Pentecost. So not only an empty tomb, but also Pentecost, the power of the Holy Spirit. So I urge you, my dear brother and sister, let's keep strong and faithful in the ministry and let's return to our spiritual Jerusalem. God bless you.